Hey guys, I am going to show you guys how to make a Twix cheesecake today and I'm excited because it was my favorite recipe by far. So I'm starting off with about 20 crackers. Now if you have a food processor then you don't need to use a Ziploc bag like I'm doing but only because I, could, I don't have a food processor just as yet. So we're gonna make some crumbs. Now to that we're gonna add our melted butter. I don't use sugar in my crust only because I find it makes the cheesecake a little bit on the sweeter side and I don't like extra sweet cheesecake. So we're gonna mix the butter into the crumbs until we get a wet sand mixture and once we get that we're gonna add it to a 9 inch spring foam pan to which we're gonna pat down on the surface of the pan once it is well covered we're going to bake it for about 10 minutes in a preheated oven the exact measurement degrees for everything will be on my blog tastyfulrecipes.com links will be in the bio Now using a stand mixer you're gonna add the cream cheese. Now if you don't own a stand mixer you can use a hand mixer, it's up to you, or a whisk if you are that strong. I'm not so I'm using a stand mixer. I like to start by whisking my cream cheese together before I add the rest ingredients. So we're gonna mix that together and then we're gonna move on to the rest ingredients. Now once we've done mixing the cream cheese, we're going to move on to the rest ingredients. Now I added my eggs. Now keep in mind all of these ingredients must be at room temperature if you want to have a nice fluffy cheesecake. Now I'm adding sour cream. I don't know if you prefer sour cream in your cheesecake but to me sour cream and later on I'm going to show you another ingredient that I find makes a cheesecake taste amazing. So I'm going to add my sour cream eggs to the cream cheese mixture and we're going to whisk that together until everything is well incorporated before we move on to the dry ingredients. So now I'm adding my cornstarch. Now I think that all cheesecake must have cornstarch in them because I find using cornstarch is it prevents bubbles, air bubbles, and it prevents cracking as well as a water bath. But since you're using cornstarch, it isn't mandatory to use a water bath. I find cornstarch in a cream cream cheesecake I was gonna say a cream cheesecake and the cheesecake is what makes it it it's what makes the recipe the bomb so I'm adding my sugar and vanilla extract and we're gonna finish whisking all of this together and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the recipe 
why did I just pass I don't know the rest of the recipe anyways after whisking that together we're gonna remove the bowl from the mixer and we're gonna add our Twixes so now we're gonna add our Twixes now I use the mini Twix you can add you can use the regular size Twix you can use about eight Twix bars so let's say about one about two cups of chopped up Twix once you've added your Twixes you're gonna go ahead and add the filling which is so creamy and lightly fluffy it looks amazing and we're gonna add it to our, our pan with our cool crust make sure your crust is cool before adding your filling and smooth the crust smooth it all all around I didn't do this the first time and my cake didn't come out as even and we're gonna bake this for an hour at 150 degrees to go with our cheesecake we're going to make some chocolate whipped cream now using um, some heavy cream we're gonna add that to our mixing bowl and we're gonna whisk the heavy cream until it starts to form until peaks start to form and we're gonna whisk that on about medium to high speed and we're gonna whisk that until it forms peaks and then we're gonna add our cocoa powder vanilla extract and powdered sugar and then we're gonna finish whisking that together until everything is well incorporated and we're gonna set that aside time to make the caramel sauce now using the saucepan over low to medium heat we're going to add our granulated sugar and we're gonna stir that until it melts and until it forms a liquid basically a caramel sauce and then we're gonna add our butter and our heavy cream and we're gonna pour in our heavy cream gradually stirring it together so nothing burns now you can't look away or turn away for just a minute because the sugar or the butter or the cream will stick to the pan and it will burn and the reason we're doing a caramel sauce for the topping of the cheesecake is because in a Twix bar there is a caramel sauce and there's chocolate that covers the biscuit and the sauce that's why we have a caramel sauce and a chocolate whipped cream to top the cheesecake off Now for the caramel sauce, I recommend using either a wooden spatula or a wooden spoon, not plastic or not steel. It will make the caramel sauce taste funny. Just a quick tip. So my cheesecake was done baking, it was the other day. I like to refrigerate my cheesecake overnight, but you can refrigerate it for maximum up to 3 hours, minimum 3 hours. And then we're going to sprinkle our caramel sauce over it, and we're going to sprinkle some melted chocolate. And then we're going to add our whipped cream. Now I wanted to be fancy and add whipped cream to the edges of the cheesecake. And I added some leftover Twix on top of the whipped cream. This is optional, you don't have to do it, but you can skip the whipped cream 
or you can serve it with your cheesecake when you're serve, when you're cutting it into it or when you're serving it for anybody but the chocolate whipped cream was a plus to this recipe now if you like this recipe don't forget to comment like subscribe check out my other videos until next time guys bye